What's going on, my friends? Chris here. I want to bring you all an update today at Bitcoin. Right now, we're sitting at $28,900, down about 1% on the day. What I want to do is take a look at Bitcoin on the weekly time frame here. And we're going to get all the way into the hourly time frame, get you guys some good detail. So the first thing that I'm looking at here, guys, for Bitcoin on the weekly time frame, we've just been moving sideways here. And when you move sideways for this long, you build pressure. So typically, what we're going to look for now, guys, is the break. And when the break comes, I can't tell you whether it's going to be to the upside or downside. No one can right now. But when that break does happen, look for the volume confirmation in either direction because most likely we're going to get some follow through in either direction after being pent up for this long here. Kind of like shaking a pop can and then all of a sudden you pull the, the tab and it just goes and it explodes. Whenever you build up like this, guys, that's typically what happens. So I'm really keeping an eye on this area. Another thing, if we're going to take a look here at our 200 week moving average, that's going to correlate with our green order block here. And that's going to be at $27,600. That's the area that Bitcoin needs to hold here. What Bitcoin is trying to do is set a weekly higher low. You can see from our low here, guys, higher low, higher low. We're trying to set that higher low and stay up above this 200 week moving average. But we've just shown weakness as we've been climbing up here, guys. The main thing that I've noticed is we had our first big push on good heavy volume. The next push that we had was on less volume. This push here, trying to get over top of 32,000 was on less volume. And then we tried again here and it was on even weaker volume. So that's why this area is so crucial for the bulls to defend. If not, we're going to drop down and we're going to test some lower areas around that 24,800. Then I'd anticipate back to around that $25,000. And the tough part about that is guys, if we get trapped below this 200 week moving average, then it could potentially act as overhead resistance for us. So really watching right now, guys, staying patient for me, I'm staying out of the way, watching to see to get some confirmation from the volume in which direction we're potentially going to go next. If we get into the one day time frame. One day time frame here, we may potentially have a date here with the 200 day moving average. That's also going to be at $27,300. We have not back tested that since about March 11th, 2023 here. So we've spent a lot of time, guys. We may have to come back, retest this area, see if we can still hold it. And that's going to be a really big test for us because since January 12th or 13th, right in that time frame here of this year, guys, we've been trading up above our 200 day moving average. It's been sloping to the upside. So if we're not able to hold that, that's also going to show a lot of weakness here. So being very careful in this area, guys, just watching to see what we can do. You can see we have this green order block here. We're going to see if this can be filled. And then we also have a red one here at $30,000, which has been a really tough area that 30,000 up to $32,000 on the four hour time frame. Four hour time frame, we have lost our 200 moving average. It's acting as overhead resistance. You can see here where we tried to get up through it and lost it, got pressed to the downside. We have a large buy order here, guys, 27,300. So, right again, how that can correlate with this here, going back to the weekly, this whole area right here, trying to find out if this is going to be an area that we're able to hold. That's why this spot that we're at right now is so critical for us. And you have to have a plan and you have to be ready for what you want to do. So right here, guys, we're going to we're trading below our 200 moving average on the one hour time frame there. So we had a red order block and that was at twenty nine thousand three hundred dollars there. And we have a buy here, which is going to be at twenty eight thousand seven hundred. We're going to see if this can hold. But still, guys, a fair amount of downward pressure If we're stepping back to the one day time frame. Most important thing is just really watching that 200 day moving average relative strength is dropping through the 50. We're at 40 right now. So also watching that a little bit of weakness coming into the market. So stay safe out there, guys. Watch this squeeze. God bless each and every one of you and take care.